Say hi, mystery girl. Hi. Okay. Um, so here's some squats from a little while ago. The last time I squatted. I'm actually squatting today. Today I'm recording over this. 405. Um, I did two sets of five. Dropped it down to 365 for a set of five. And that was uh, when I was still considering myself, like, quote, unquote recovering from this one weird issue that I had, as well as uh, my left erector type thing. And uh, this was the first time deadlifting heavy again since uh, it really seemed to, to flare it up. So it was kind of an experimental day. I wasn't even sure how heavy I was, gonna going, I was going to go when I walked into this workout. I know I was going to touch 400 and uh, 455 and see what happened. But uh, the 455 felt really good, so I put it up to 500. And without the uh, weight of the hair on my head, I was able to lift this with quite ease <laughs> because my head was more aerodynamic. So it was just way easier. Not just that, but I was getting all kinds of compliments in the gym about my hair. Oh my God, I should have seen my shit. No, but I also felt much more, I feel much more aesthetic <laughs> with my hair shorter. And I think it makes my body look kind of uh, it makes me look like more of a serious person, I think. Yeah. And uh, I'm, I feel like I'm more of a force to reckon with when I have shorter hair. Compared to when I have long hair, it's just like, who's this goofy-ass bitch? And then you see that goofy-ass fucker lift hella weight, and you're like, okay, well, it's a strong goofy-ass fool. And then I do it like this, and they're like, okay, I ain't fucking with him. All right, all right. let's not fuck with him. Uh, so there's a good chance that that one dude uh, who was hogging the power rack, if I was wearing my short hair, he probably would have moved immediately. But the fact that I had my long hair, <laughs> he's like, who's this dude think he is? <laughs> so, uh, okay. So anyways, I did uh, 500 pounds for a set of five. I did 500 pounds for a set of three. Uh, this set of three, uh, it was uh, this workout, uh, to be honest, I wasn't even, I wasn't really super focused for a few different reasons, but, um, but I was able to uh, get the job done. I'm the only one that gets the job done. Lame. Ain't no other brother <laughs> can handle it for me. Got some game from my dad. So this was a back and tricep workout. Now I normally start off with close grip bench press, but since um, my shoulder was hurting from that new bench press PR that I hit two days earlier, which was 325 for five, um, I decided not to do any sort of pushing for this workout. So I did a back, uh, some triceps, and some biceps, as well as uh, side lateral raises on the machine for uh, adults. And that was pretty much it for this workout. This is probably my first time doing barbell rows, honestly, in several months. It's been a long ass time since I'm doing them. This hasn't been a regular uh, exercise in my programming, but um, with my uh, with with what I'm doing now nowadays, I'll probably be doing it uh, every other upper or every fourth upper or something like that. All right, man. I'm playing with it's your a squat hair day, again. guys. I'm currently on a different kind of training split. Uh, currently, my little uh, schedule goes like lower, upper, off, repeat. I'll see how long that goes. If I, something changes, I'll let you know. And uh, I honestly haven't even filled you in on my current like arms specific type training split thing. I had going on for months, months I think. Uh, but I'll most likely clue you in pretty soon. Say hi to uh, the, the lovely mystery girl. Hi. <laughs> God, she looks good. Jeez. Stop. Okay, all right, let's do this. <laughs> Squat. Okay, so this day I was hitting 425, uh, going for anything between three and five reps. Uh, last time I did this way, I hit three, so I figured, hey, let's keep it simple and tiny progressions. Uh, so I hit four reps, dropped it down, I think around 70%, uh, dropped it down about 30 pounds, and I did two sets of four. Uh, common question I get is uh, what's the right way to squat at a high bar or low bar? Of course, it just really uh, matters what feels best for you, of course, your goals. For Olympic lifting, um, and for most general purposes, uh, high bar is probably the best way to go. Uh, unless low bar feels way better for you, if power lifting is the goal and you have the maximum amount of weight, there's a good chance that you probably want to power lift or compete with the low bar. Uh, but of course, what matters most is that you're squatting in general and that uh, you enjoy uh, the style of squatting that you're, that you're doing. Find which one works best for you, which feels best on your knees, on your hips, on your back, and which one you can adhere to long term. Uh, so yeah, high bar is my way to go. Um, my my feet aren't really that wide; they're about shoulder uh, about shoulder uh, width in terms of uh, distance apart. 
Um, my feet are pretty pointed forward for the most part. In the past, I had my feet more pointed out. Yeah, pretty pointed forward, just slightly. Uh, here's Megan hitting 165 from the other five. She's like crazy strong. And uh, she's working out with me for a few months now, and she's been gaining just tons of strength. Uh, like, for example, her arms have, like, I know from just kind of like feeling them, like three months ago, they were like just. Like, they were nothing basic. I, I was about to call them noodles. That's kind of me. But like, they were like noodles compared to what they are now. Like now, like she has serious triceps and biceps. It's seriously impressive. And there she is doing overhead press in the background. Pretty damn well, yes. Hey, quit being a little bitch. Oh, his cake.